A public hearing on the bill to establish the Chartered Institute of Forensics and Certified Fraud Examiners became rowdy in the House of Representatives over an allegation of plagiarism. The public hearing was organized by the House Joint Committees on Anti-Corruption and Commerce. Details in this report. Addressing journalists separately, heads of the two institutes maintained their stance on the proposed bill. Both had earlier made submissions on the public hearing held by the House Joint Committee on Anti-Corruption and Commerce. The pro tem president of the Chartered Institute of Forensic and Investigative Auditors of Nigeria, Enakbe Victoria, said they were taken aback when they discovered that the proposed bill was allegedly a duplication of the bill passed by the 8th Assembly. On hearing this, we became curious and our curiosity led us to critically look at the provision of the newly introduced bill alongside with others, which has already been passed by the National Assembly, and we discovered that the provision of the new bill merely duplicates the provisions of our bill, Chartered Institute of Forensic and Investigative Professionals of Nigeria, that has just been passed by the two chambers of National Assembly. It's an injustice if this should be allowed. However, the chief executive, Chartered Institute of Forensics and Certified Fraud Examiners of Nigeria, Gashin Baki, who debunked her claim, said the bill seeks to address the existing gaps and the growing complexities in the ways financial transactions have been conducted, especially with the use of technology and other reasons. Accountants are not fraud examiners, neither accountants are forensic experts. And that is why Annan, which is also one of the accounting bodies, understanding that forensic science is, is the deployment of science to do forensics, understood from the beginning that that traditional training of accountants that we have is not sufficient. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, who was represented by the House Deputy Leader, Peter Akpatterson said the country is in dire need of capable hands in the fight against corruption in the country, insisting that the bill is coming at the right time. In the legislative agenda of the Knights House of Representatives, we also stated, so we also identified the fight against corruption as one of the critical areas of our action and attention. I assure Nigerians that our commitment in this regard remains as steadfast today as it was then. The misconception arose due to the similarities of the nomenclature of the names of the institutes and their functions, as espoused in the provisions of the two bills, hence the need for the National Assembly to do what is required to save Nigerians from the semen confusions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.